What's up guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Um, the new Valkyrie archetype is out on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, but there are still a couple of glitches, mainly with, you know, their key, ca key card pretty much being the mischief of the Time Goddess again. It's not really, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro has a lot of um, problems updating its effect or, you know, programming its effect. It's mainly the, the skipping the end phase where the problem is. So this is not an official update, I can't release it, um, this is again a of glitches it's not working properly again it's not um, fully skipping the end phase I mean card effects like card of the mice will still resolve during the end phase same for the themed quote unquote weak soul charge right of the Valkyries you know upon activation special summoning multiple Valkyries from your hand but again during the end phase you will be losing all monsters on your side of the field and at this moment the effect of mischief again is not programmed correctly to use your right of the Valkyrie at its full extent right then again it's banishing effect of searching a mischief does work so again that's quite good as for the monsters Dritte is pretty much like a Stratos, Zweite is pretty much well, like a moral tech I guess and Brunenilde is just an extra beat stick. You could run like a pure build with you know one of the fallen angels here in the extra deck Condemned which its name uh, is of course but Valhalla but you know that that's not really I, I don't like it that much. Pendulums are just fine here of getting those beat sticks on the field. So let's see a couple of example duels. Okay, so first example against Burning Abyss going second. Uh, it feels that going second is a bit better with this um, with this archetype, I guess. Uh, you know, having the sixth card definitely helps. And as you saw, um, running a triple Duelist Alliance and triple of the Searcher for Pendulum Magicians, right? Since again, um, you know, their Stratos pretty much searches out your uh, right of the Valkyries as you're seeing here. And then you can just use your Duelist Alliance to search out Pendulum Call. Pendulum Call immediately sets up the, the spell card in your graveyard in order to banish itself right to search out mischief mischief does have like a small down so it's like a big downside that you can you know use it as, as very equally to evenly matched at the end of your battle phase as you're seeing it now because you know it's a quick play spell card then you will immediately skip all the turns go ahead to your uh, well not really a second battle phase but you know the a new battle phase for, for your next turn so potentially also here again skipping the omega from coming back that's a small downside but it's a small cost i had to pay since again mischief does have the small uh, downside is that you can only activate the quick play spell if you only control valkyrie monsters on your side of the field so cards like dire wolf diamond dire wolf to get rid of those extra monsters in order to in order for you to activate mischief is definitely an option i guess but not really too optimal right but again the biggest point here of uh, mischief is just getting the extra normal summon by the way or you know the second pendulum summon for quote unquote the same turn of course the second battle phase to hopefully kill your opponent during that or at least during the same turn well two turns in one basically but it, it's a bit gimmicky i guess again potentially using pot of desires for the second time maybe card of demise right so those are all definitely options Going for the Boreload and Boros Sword Brothers and now I'm in a very very good position. I mean both these cards are just a staple in your extra deck and you know I mean you can just attack for a game right? <laughs> just very very easy. Uh, next opponent being the Thunder Dragon deck. This is definitely one of this deck's biggest uh, counters, I guess. Just normal summoning the Thunder King here in this case going for, I believe, the Super Bolt is the name. Um, you know, pre pre yeah, pretty much preventing any searches. And the Duelist Lions is one of those cards. Same with Pendulum Call. I mean, those cards are definitely key. And that's why, uh, you know, the Chronograph, Spell and Trap both are at two copies in the deck since both of them are quite important. And you know, the search continues spell is basically your search or one of your searches is also a continuous spell since level 5 also you know the level 5 Valkyrie also has the effect that as soon as it's battles I believe at the end 
of the damage tab, you can target any continuous spell in your graveyard to add it back to your hand. So here in this case, that's a potential chronograph spell that you can get back from your graveyard. Using the second battle phase, I guess, uh, you know, you, I, I, I believe it was Brunilde indeed just basically being a beat stick and getting a 500 attack boost for every monster your opponent controls. So basically getting rid of his entire field, also thanks to Vortex was able to bounce back the super bolt and now going for Borilo Dragon as well. Borilo is superb against th uh, Thunder Dragons. It prevents them from, uh, you know, activating their big Thunder Lord being one of their key cards. Well, you know, you can just interrupt the same with like chaining other cards to the Paleozoic Trap cards, right? You know, prevent them from using their grave effects. Another example against Black Wings again. The opponent starts off opening with Impermanence is always nice if your opponent has like a, you know, a very dangerous boss monster or a potential floodgate in the form of a boss monster on this side of the field. So I believe currently the finalized list is running like 41 cards, but I definitely want to cut it down to 40. But um, yeah, it's, it's still just looking for the right amount of cards, right? Card ratios, etc. Um, at this point, I was also running the like a small engine of the, you know, the Supreme King engine, but I quickly dropped that. It, 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 I think it's just, um, it, it, running like pure pendulum magicians makes things um, just easier, I guess. You know, the same for like Oath Dragon, getting the, at least Peasant, yeah, Oath Dragon Magician, get the extra effect. I mean, it's just, um, I feel it makes the deck a bit more consistent. Again, using Vortex to bounce something back, right? Getting rid of the, the Witchling, Witchling indeed, I believe the name is. Going for the Boral Sword. Boral Sword is one of my only answers against that particular field in, in like a lot of videos. Boral Sword being, being much one of the best Link monsters, right? Vortex, instant negate here. Potential negate, but now again, just special summon all those extra monsters using Pearl Swords, extra double attack, special summoning the level 5, the Zweite, uh, Zweite, you know German. Um, again, yeah, pop one of his monsters and eventually attack for a game. So another example against Cyber Dragons, the opponent starts off really, really well. I mean, machine duplication, couple of Cyber Dragons, summon Sorceress, what more can you ask as a Cyber Dragon player, right? Um, I think he's going to end with a another Nova, uh, maybe a bit overkill, but still, you know, if, if Nova is destroyed, you can special summon something from your extra deck if you have the, um, at least if you dedicated something for it, right? So Infinity, one of negation and potentially hand traps. Again, that well, hand traps, and I haven't mentioned it before, but something like Ash Blossom can instantly lose you the duel, you know, Ash Blossom on your pendulum call can, is like a very devastating move of course, but like in a whole, Valkyries isn't really the best top tier deck. It doesn't need to be, but again, it's not a deck that can easily recover from one hand trap, right? Um, so anyway, again the basic plays here in this case, no mischief, or at least mischief wasn't optimal. Going for Bory Load was the optimal play to gain control of the Cyber End, uh, at least the Cyber Dragon Infinity indeed. Uh, and yep, Nova is destroyed, but not running any answers, at least options to special summon it, or special summon something from the extra deck, right? The Monster Reborn is going to get negated by Infinity. Um, not really sure if that's what the correct play, probably it was a correct play, I mean, preventing another Infinity from coming out from my opponent. Uh, then again, he would have, you know, had to dedicate his extra monster zone to it, but as you're seeing here, he does have, you know, like, a lot of monsters to get a potentially cotton like an like a uh, Cyber Dragon Seeger on this side of the field. So, yeah, a bit unfortunate, bit unfortunate since I had my combo in hand for next turn to get the double pendulum summon, double battle phase, and to, you know, potentially just attack for a game or, you know, establish a big board so my opponent will not have the resources to come back after this. Last example again, going first this time. Okay, that's cool. Um, again, yeah, pretty much what the, the Harmonizing Magician being one of your most important cards. Electromite speaks for itself, right? And going for the uh, star game. Or I believe it's at least a start uh, time magician, you know, the exceed, just gaining back some resources, I guess. Uh, the level 7 uh, is one of the better ones, you're just opening up access to Vortex again, a potential negate, and the trap card again. I think I was able to draw into it with the extra draw of Electromite, so 
Again, I'm, I should be in a very good position, right? Again, getting rid of the uh, Black Rillwind, indeed, and the Tuner, so that it should be like a big bummer for him, right? Uh, but then again, he does... He does have the, the crystal needle fiber excess and uh, you know the boral uh, is it boral sort of boral load is definitely coming up i think it should be um no indeed yeah, he's indeed going for his big pulse mold so the full armor that's that's good enough i guess so first he getting rid of the metal tron um but yeah vortex does no yeah indeed the end phase effect right okay that is that's definitely an okay play but still i have a pendulum scale at least a part of the pendulum scale intact at least i try to use the continuous trap to trigger the black fang and you know the trigger the the, the pendulum at least the the chronograph spell searcher but he did have ghost ogre but good news now he no, that pretty much doesn't have an interruption. So go for Electromite. And now my only option here is, I think, going for again the Boral Sword. At least Boral Sword should be one of those options, right? Um, yep, there it is. And now I think, well, this is not the game. But again, uh, what can he top deck, right? This again should be my duel. So he does have enough resources. I do have a, a, fo a potential follow-up play for next turn. He does top deck into Reborn again for that... Um, yeah, full armor, and it, if it wasn't for Black Fang, I would have lost here. But Black Fang providing some extra defense, and uh, as you're seeing here next turn, I'm going to summon my own Borilo Dragon again, and eventually attack for game. So like always, feel free to leave suggestions, this is not like a super finalized build. Valkyries, just a fun neck, but um, you know, it, it will take time for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro to finalize this, the, the final script of uh, mischief again like you know it, it probably needs like a super uh, like a like a like a core update from Yu-Gi-Oh pro um okay guys that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video click them signing out peace